story is Cynthia. Craig bent his plan to build a synthetic life form. All living things, from microbes to monkeys, are made up of cells. Cells contain everything that's needed to transform energy into life. Humans have trillions of cells in their bodies. Simpler organisms, like bacteria, have just one cell. Cells are the basic units of life. Inside most cells, there's a molecule known as DNA, and it looks a bit like a zipper. The teeth of the zipper are four different chemical compounds, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, often known as A, G, C, and T. How an organism grows, develops, and stays alive depends a lot on its DNA. It's like the software program that instructs the computer how to perform a function. The code for the organism's software is the order or the sequence of A, G, C, and T all along the DNA zipper. Every living thing has a unique DNA sequence, and this is shorter in simple bacteria and longer in complex organisms, such as humans. So to create a synthetic life form, you first need to construct its DNA. Synthetic DNA, it's sDNA, is manufactured in a machine called a DNA synthesizer. This synthesizer has a computer in it that can be programmed to create any DNA sequence you want. It takes a whole series of chemical reactions to grow a molecule of synthetic DNA. The DNA synthesizer pumps in chemical ingredients at the right time to make the right chemical reactions happen in the right order. Chemists have been tweaking this recipe for DNA for almost half a century. Making the DNA for even a single cell bacterium requires a long, long DNA zipper. And in a human cell, A, G, C, and T appear three billion times. So most scientists interested in building synthetic life take a shortcut. They go on the internet and they order their synthetic DNA from foundries. These are companies that crank out lengths of synthetic DNA the way a factory makes car parts. An organism's complete zipper of DNA is called its genome. And to make a synthetic organism, you need to make an entire genome. Craig Venter, CEO and founder of Synthetic Genomics Inc., claims that his company is constructing the first ever living organism whose genome is not like any known species and is made entirely from synthetic DNA. We call it Cynthia. The scientists aren't constructing the whole cell, just the DNA inside the cell. To create Cynthia, the team started with a bacterium that already exists. It's called Mycoplasma genitalium, and it lives in the human genitals. It has a really small genome. First, the scientists deleted some pieces of Mycoplasma genitalium's DNA, but not enough to kill it, at least not right away. They call this stripped-down DNA a minimal genome. They then rebuilt it out of synthetic DNA. A genome can't function by itself. It needs all the other parts of the working cell. So the human-made genome, stitched together from synthetic DNA, is injected into a natural bacterial cell. That cell divides, and one of the new cells ends up with the synthetic genome. And presto, Cynthia is born. Scientists have pieced together a new species of bacteria with entirely human-made DNA. Like all life forms, Venter's synthetic organism should be able to reproduce and to mutate. And that is where the trouble can begin.